Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video where I want to show you how you can create a new table from existing table for only a specific dimension value. Well, what does that mean? For example, if you have various countries in your table and your table is long enough and you want to create, let's say, only table for US or Canada or UK or any specific country, then you can create it. So this can be useful in various different scenarios. Let's say within the same model, you want to create a different table or you want to create a table and then, you know, save a new Power BI, uh, save it as a new Power BI dash uh, workbook and just use that particular table instead of doing it outside, let's say in the table or somewhere. So in scenarios like those, I will show you a function which can help you create this or a combination of function rather. And before that, just a quick information that this particular sheet, the live Google sheet, the link for this is present in the description. That means you can use that link and come over here and search any of my previously posted videos and uh, go to there and uh, jump on to that particular video on YouTube by using the link given here in column B. So I am on my 176 tutorial, so you can look at all of the previous videos or dashboards like this sales performance, customer analytics, uh, financial complaints, Twitter dashboard. So all of these things are present here. Search for dashboard if you're looking for dashboard, search for DAX related stuff if you're looking for DAX related stuff or some visualization, specific visualization. So make sure you bookmark this because this will always be most up to date because it is a live Google Sheet. All right, with that, let me go to the Power BI. Okay, so you can see that we have these different values uh, in the sales orders table. And uh, we want to create uh, for, let's say, we want to create for any specific product category. We want to, we can create it, let's say, based on a scenario for a specific region. I mean, whatever value that you have in the mind, you can create it also you can create it for a specific measure right i mean this one i'm showing you specifically for um for uh, dimension value but let's say you want to create a table for sales which is greater than uh, 100 dollars or 500 dollars right so anything is is a possibility with the help of what i'm going to show you all right let me go into this data pane and click on this new table and in this table, I will going to write, um, let's say, uh, region, for example, West region table. So over here, we will going to use the function, which is calculate table. And in the calculate table, we will going to use this table function. So, oh, sorry, the table we need to specify that is your orders. Now we have to specify the filter. So the filter is something uh, which which we will going to make based on what we are creating. So region, region over here, or region is equals to west. Let's try this and click OK. So what do you get over here is the output. If you see the region over here is only the west right that is what we have specified over here so that is pretty straightforward right now if you see if i press a comma you have the option to specify the second filter let's say second filter you want to specify now i am i'm going to specify the sales so sales which is greater than 100 right so whatever is the sales so right now, if you see the West region table has three, two, zero, three rows. Okay. Now, if we apply the second filter and from three, two, zero, three, it will reduce to one, two, six, one. That means it is less than half, right? What, what we have, were having earlier. So not just one condition, you can specify two conditions, right? What if, if I press comma? over here so you can specify filter three and so on and so forth that means you can create a very custom table for yourself for in, in in scenarios like those where you need a custom table or a smaller table but not the 
huge table from your uh, data for in, in your data model or in your analysis or dashboard. So that is something I wanted to show you how you can very easily create it using the calculate table function which can be lifesaver in scenarios like this and as you can see it is very easy not just the dimension value but also specify the measure value and you get the output. With that thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.